Hey guys, welcome back to a new video review. This time we have Jim Rayner from StarCraft. He's part of Series 3 of the Heroes of the Storm toyline by NECA. Here we have the front of the package. And on the back of the package, we have a short story on Rayner with a few pictures of other characters from Series 3. So let's get them out. Here we have James Eugene Rayner, or more commonly known as Jim Rayner, a former Terran Marshal turned Rebel. Now Jim is the commander for Rayner's Raiders, a anti-Dominion Rebel group. He's wearing a Terran CMC 400 powered combat suit with the added upgrade of impact resistant black paint, customized with his personal details. Jim is a playable character in StarCraft 1 and 2. In Heroes of the Storm, he is a ranged assassin hero. Let's check out some detail. Here we have the head of the suit with the visor closed. We have a skull decal painted on with some heavy scratches. And with the visor up, we can see Jim Rayner. We have a really nice detailed sculpt that captures the likeness of the character very well. On the back of the head, we can see some of the weathering detail. On the chest, we can see some amazing sculpting and detail. Lots of weathered effects and scratches make this suit of armor look well worn. The design of the chest is filled with a lot of mechanical parts and looks very robotic. On the upper part of the back, we can see two thrusters sticking out with a bright orange color. And a bit lower on the back, we have a huge piece of armor surrounded by a thin strip of hazard paint. We have a bit of weathering here that makes the area look greasy. On the right shoulder, we have a skeletal rattlesnake decal applied to the armor. And on the other shoulder, we have more of that scratched and worn out effect. The back of the arms have a few yellow decals applied over the gray metal paint. The sculpting here is really great. Lots of detail in small areas that are filled with mechanical parts. The arms and hands have paint that's faded out to give them that worn out appearance. The sculpting on the fingers is really insane. We can see little grooves where each joint would articulate. At the waist we have black tubing wrapping around the figure. The paint effect gives them the look of real rubber and the small little stripes add a nice touch of detail. And on the back of the waist we can see more of those mechanical suit parts. We have tubes and layers of armor connected onto the back and we also have more of that greasy effect going on. On the side of both thighs we can see the zerg kill marks. It's a really nice detail and so small that it's almost unnoticeable. We can make out that it's 4 hydralis and 3 zerglings. Rainer has been busy. Rainer's legs are big and bulky in the sculpting, and here is where the majority of the weathering is on the figure. Lots of scratches and faded out paint. And on the back we have the last of the yellow hazard paint. It's really cool that we get details like this in areas that are most likely not to be seen normally. It's a great paint job. And finally the feet of the figure, with a ton of scratching, grease and worn out paint to finish up the details on this figure. So let's check out some articulation. Rainer's visor opens and closes. His head is on a ball joint, but it's hard to get a finger in there. Shoulders rotate and open, but are blocked by the shoulder armor. Rotating biceps. Elbow that bends. And rotates. But cannot rotate while the elbows are bended. Rotating and bending wrist. A ball jointed waist. Thigh articulation that is blocked by the armor. Knees that bend. And also rotate. And we have a ball jointed heel and toes. Jim comes with the C-14 Goss Rifle. It's very accurate to the game and has an added bayonet attachment that makes it unique to him. It's made of a hard plastic and it's really large, but it's hollow and light so the figure won't be dragged down by it when he holds it. Jim Rayner is one of the most iconic characters in StarCraft. Even more iconic is the marine power armor that he comes with. The detail NECA has packed into this figure is amazing. The in-game likeness is extremely accurate and NECA really did an amazing job with this figure. NECA's Heroes of the Storm line is some of the best work in my opinion, and Jim Rayner is another added to that list. He does only come with one accessory and the armor gets in the way of a lot of articulation, but I feel I can get a few good poses out of it, and I don't expect a full suit of power armor to be agile anyways. And it's unfortunate, but this will be NECA's last wave of the Heroes of the Storm action figures. 
It's a shame because NECA really did these figures some justice. The accuracy of the in-game appearance was spot on and a lot of these characters haven't had figures made of them in a very long time. Overall, I'm very pleased with Jim Rayner. He has a ton of articulation points, amazing sculpting, and the detail is amazing for the price of 20 bucks. Find him and buy him, because this is the last wave and limited amounts are being sent to retailers and online. The possibility for customs is huge here too. He's a really solid figure. Alright guys, that'll do it for me. More reviews coming up soon and you know where to find them. Thanks for watching.